Hey, we're going to show you how to do a really simple scrolling animation or effect on your website where uh, you have two columns and the first column over there is going to move up as you scroll down and as you scroll down column number two is going to move downwards. Can you see the effect going on there? So the lady here is slightly moving down, okay? And the lady over there is moving on. We're going to show you how to do this. It's simple, it's free, it's easy with me Imran from Web Squadron. So creating this is dead, dead simple. In fact, I've already created it, so I'm just gonna show you the steps. What we have here is a section. One section, two columns, okay? Full width, no gap, and the minimum height, I have selected VH, okay, and I've put in 100. What that means is this is now gonna fill up the full height of your screen, VH, okay? VW would be the width, but I'm not too fussed about that. It's more about the height. And I've gone for full width as well. If you'd gone for a boxed effect like this, you'd have had this going on where you'd have a bit of borders going down the left and right hand side. So we're going with a full width. We have two columns, okay? Column one has an image. You know the drill. You go to your column, you go to background type, you pick your image, okay? I would probably say you want to go more for a portrait -y image, whereas, whereas I've used a landscape because obviously there's a bit of pixelation there, but you would pick accordingly, okay? Center, center. Uh, I'm not doing scroll or fix, it's default, repeat, no repeat, and it's a cover. Now here's the bit you got to understand, scrolling effects. If you go to advanced, okay, and you do scrolling effect now, when you scroll down your image, let me show you what will happen. If we do it here, watch this image over here as we scroll down. Can you see it's going up? It's now almost like leaving the section because you're touching the column. We don't want to touch the column, we want to touch the image. So let's undo that. Go back to your column, right, to the style where you have the image, scroll down, and now do the scrolling effect. Not on the column, so don't go to the advanced tab, do it underneath the image. Scrolling effects, I've gone for vertical, I want it to go up, and I've got a speed of four. If I drop it down, the image kind of shrinks a bit. If I was to increase it, the image kind of zooms in a bit. It's just something to do with the way like um, Elementor is trying to cover its bases with when you're scrolling up and down, it's, it's taking into account the dimensions of the image. I don't think it needs to do that, in my opinion. But hey, it does and it works fine. Direction up, speed of four. Now this image over here is basically the same settings with a little bit of a difference. Again, we have an image. We This time I've gone for custom rather than default because I found that center, 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 left, center, right didn't work very well. So I've gone with a custom setting just so I could get the image of the lady over there. I'm not touching the Y position. I just wanted that. It's a default, no repeat, and it is a cover for the size. Scrolling effect, okay, remember, underneath the image, this time it's going down, and we have a speed of four. I mean, I might even increase this to be a speed of six which probably isn't a great idea because now you can't even see her. So let me just see if I can change. No, look, so bear that in mind in terms of what speed you do. It is going to affect what you see. We'll go with five. We'll go with five because we will see it more when I do the full screen. And that's literally it. Below, I've just got another section that I've added a huge blank section just so you can see the scrolling effect. If we now view it as a full screen, okay, and I am going to shrink myself out of view, Right, so look at the images, right? The lady over here will move um, upwards and the lady over here will move downwards. And look, they're not leaving this section here. They're still within the section. That's really, really important. But we now have a bit of effect going on there, okay? So we've got one going up and one going down. And that is a really, really simple, easy way to just do a bit of effects. One other thing I should mention though, in case anyone spots this, is that there is no content in here at the moment. No headers, no text, no images, whatever, other than the column image. You would, of course, in your column, add a bit of text or not. It's up to you. But if you don't add any text, you will have to add a spacer. So within here at the moment, there is a spacer. You're probably going, where's the image gone? Well, the image has half kind of disappeared because we've um, removed the spacer. So when you add in your column image and you've got no other content, it won't fully show. So what you gotta do is add in a spacer. Now in this spacer, I have put a vertical height of 100. 
So that means it's going to be the full width height of the screen, which fits with the section. If I had shrunk this, look, if I'd gone with, say, 50 or whatever, 50, there you go. It's now kind of half the size of the screen. So I hope that's making enough sense. And of course, if you had 100 there and you wanted to add in something like a header over here, just make sure you start to take into account the differentiation between your um, your sizes because I've added in a header. So now I've got to adjust the space of size. OK, this is dead, dead simple and easy to do a little bit of trial and error, but it's not going to kill you at all to do that. All right. Look, I hope you like and I hope this helps you out with kind of just being just, I don't know, using your scroll animation and your sections to a much better, greater effect. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.